Have you experienced being bombarded with a lot of problems? When everything seems wrong and in a difficult situation? Yes, I have been there. I was lost. I was so hopeless, living a life without any direction. Chasing after the wind just to find meaning for everything. I came to Dubai filled with hope to get a better job. As time passes by, I apply for jobs from left and right. I have experienced rejections. I felt so small and qualified and of no word to fight. I had to exit to Kish Island and from there, my change has begun. I was already entrusted by the Lord to lead the people in worship. We have been called. The fire was burning and true enough, there was joy in serving. But when I set foot in Dubai, the fire started to die down. And the fire of serving Him in my heart has been taken from me. Busy in looking for a job, I have been slowly drowning far from God. In Saudi, the fire shines so bright, yet in Dubai, it started to go dark. How, How about you? you? Did you, you have, have this kind of life before? before? Problems, struggles, and a life with no meaning. This was our life before. I was once lost, but now I am found. I thank God for the life of Brother Alvin Andres and Kuya Gabi Canyones. They were the people whom I met in Cache Island. They stood in the gap and offered the best decision a man can have to start a relationship with Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. God is great. I am also grateful to God for my spiritual father who is standing with us with Bro Brown today. I thank you for your life, Pasiban. The weirdness I saw in you, praying before eating, praying before driving, the peace in the middle of problems. This made me wonder who is behind this strange man who is the source of joy and peace. He did not allow me to go astray, but found a family to go back to the real way. My life has changed, and definitely I have no regrets up to now. I was welcomed by the wonderful family of ACCI. I was guided by my humble pastors, including Pastor Evan and Pastor Jonas, in my journey of deepening my faith. And from that decision I made, my life's purpose has reignited. Now, it is not only me who will serve Him, but definitely my entire family. <clears throat> Desiring in my heart, the verse in Joshua 24, verse 15. But if serving the Lord seems indesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. That is great, Bro Brile. I am also desiring the same like you. One day, me, my wife Joy, my daughter Sophie, and my coming one, together with my Langang family, we will serve the Lord. I agree with you, Pastor Ivan and Bro Brile. This is what the Lord wants us to have. A family 
who will serve and glorify Him. Same with you, I have this heart's desire that me and my future family Together, we will serve the Lord with joy and gladness. How about, How about you? you? Have, Have you thanked, thanked the person who stood, stood in the gap? gap? The, the person, person who invited you to a meaningful, meaningful relationship with God? God. We, we are standing, standing here before, before you, not by our might and not for who we are. We are standing here because of the one true, true God, God, who we are worshiping and embracing with, with our hearts so loud. loud. I am Pastor Junas. I was blind, but now I see. I am standing here to testify that in Jesus, we will be and we are free. I am Pastor Ivan. I was blind, but now I see. God equipped me and strengthened me, and I will forever serve Him with great humility. I am Brian. I was blind, but now I see. Standing here saying that in Jesus comes our great purpose, which is the secret of life's beauty. We thank, we thank the, Lord the Lord for what, what he, has he has done. done. We, we will thank, thank the Lord for what he will do. In 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 5, 5, verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the, the new creation has come, the old has gone, and the new is here. This was the, the, the best decision we have, we have ever made. made. How, How about, about you? You have a story to tell. You have a testimony to share. We are chosen. We are called. So, so let's stand in the gap.
happy 10th year anniversary. And thank you for joining us here today. May God's fresh anointing be upon each and every one of us. As we are encouraged by God repeatedly today to stand and testify. Amen? Amen. For all of us who are here, I am 100% sure that you have at least, at least one story of God's incredible power in your life in the past. I know that all of us were pulled out by God from a very difficult situation in the past. From trying times, from challenges, from financial burdens, from broken relationships. At some point in time, I am sure, at least we have one great story of God's love and His power and His faithfulness in our lives. Amen? At least one powerful story. Do you know that your, the story of your life is so powerful that every time you share it to someone who is down and depressed, confused, desperate, your story will surely bring hope to someone, light a hope or light or give peace to somebody who is so bothered and confused. Just one story, your story, it will make a lot of difference in the life of someone who is searching for purpose and meaning in life. Amen. Always remember this, when we share our personal story of God's faithfulness and love in our lives, it is so unique. It is so unique that no one can go against you. No one can argue with your story because they see a powerful and a loving God working in your life. Amen. Amen. You see, no one, no one can say that your life journey is wrong. No one. Jesus Christ told his disciples in John chapter 15, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I chose you and I, I, I appointed you that you go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last forever. And you can ask for anything from the Father in my name, said Jesus. And he will give it to you. Amen. Amen. Jesus commands us to go to our neighbor, to go to our office mate, to someone who is down and going through a lot of burden in their lives. Even the nasty boss, he must be hurting because it is true. Hurting people tend to hurt others. They need Jesus. They need Jesus. Just like the story of the three young men here. Because of the obedience of two members of ACCI family, brother Gabby and Alvin Andres, when they were delayed and they, were, they stayed quite long in Kish Island. They obeyed God to share the goodness and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ to save lives. And here we see three, at least three young men. Two of them are already pastors. And one of them is a song leader who is an anointed worshiper of God. Isn't that a great legacy? You know, if we will continue to share our own testimony, our own story of vic the, the, the victory of God, generations will be changed through our lives. 
communities will come to know Jesus and people will be transformed. Relationships will be restored. So what's stopping you from standing up and testifying about the, the faithfulness and the goodness of God? You know what? My dear ACCI family, we cannot wait until our life is perfect, until, until our emotions are okay, before we say to a neighbor or to someone who is problematic, before we can even say, hey, my God transformed my life, and now I am enjoying peace, tranquility, and joy in my life because of Jesus. We cannot wait. We cannot wait, my dear brothers and sisters. So many people are lost right now out there. And most of them are not in church, by the way. Yes, it is good that we encourage people inside the church. But there is a huge and a big, a big fishing pond outside this church. So many people need to experience the love of God. What is stopping you? Is it your grief? Is it your work? Too busy with so many things? We have 24 hours each day. Amen? We have 24 hours each day and the Lord God says, Go and minister to someone. Touch lives. And it is always said in the Bible, Go and Jesus would always command, Go. And I think and I believe and I will agree with Dr. Henry Blackaby when he said that we all need to ask permission to stay. Because the commands of Jesus is always go. Go and express and share the love of God to people around you. Don't be afraid. God has a purpose for your life. And if some of us here are going through some trials right now, you don't know how to get out of it. God is shaping you, preparing you, because He wants to bring out the best in you. And God wants to shape you so that you will become the best version of yourself, obeying God. And testifying to the goodness of God and being used to connect with people, to be a bridge so people will, will, will get to know Jesus and that God will be able to interact and to touch the lives of others. So go and testify. Do not be afraid. Do not be shy. Do not be timid. So many people right now need God. And for sure, when we make that bold step of obedience unto God, your life, you, all of us here, will experience a, a very rewarding and fulfilling life here on earth. And we will all be enjoying worshiping God one day soon, one day in heaven if we will obey and step out there and be bold and talk about and declare the faithfulness and the love of God through Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. May God give you that fresh anointing today. Be bold and testify. God bless you all.